Do save yourself 10% on any of these games using our code SWITCHUP over at switchup.gg. That comes to an end at the end of this month, but as always, we'll try and do our best to get that refreshed. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Switch Up. Now, if I sound a little bit excited, it's because right now, as you're listening to this, I'm on an aeroplane on the way to Spain. It'll be my pro- first proper holiday since we started this channel. So excuse no replies to comments and things like that. A full week off is well on the cards. But thanks to Blitworks with their new release Train Valley on Switch for sponsoring in this episode what are the best games on sale this week well let's find out A lot of these sales will be only available in certain regions. If I were you, I'd get eShops of the different regions and then just buy games from where I wanted. But obviously I know not everyone likes to do that. We'll try and make sure that you can see where their regions are in the information at the bottom of the screen. First up then we've got Sonic Mania. This is currently half price, down to £7.99 until August the 7th. I still find it fascinating that Christian Whitehead was essentially allowed to take on the series and make it the way it should be. They saw the work he was doing and they were really impressed with it and rather than shut him down like certain companies would do. They decided to actually work with him and create something better than they would have done on their own. It's a brilliant game. It has single and multiplayer for one or two on one Switch and there's a ton of content in it. It's classic Sonic and only clocks in at 390 megabytes. The sponsor of this episode then is Train Valley, the console edition, and it's one of those games that you're going to find you get absolutely addicted to. You have to design your railways, connecting different cities, using tunnels and bridges, and it becomes a bit of a juggling act. Laying those railways are going to be much cheaper if it's across bare, flat fields, but all of a sudden when you've got to demolish forests or move mountains out of the way, the price ramps up. The experience spans over many different time zones, featuring the 1800s America, Japan, Germany, and the USSR. There's a full story mode here, and that's actually based around real-life events such as the Gold Rush of 1849. Other important moments of history that you'll be building railroads in are World War II, the Cold War, and even the Florida Overseas Railroad. Now, your average story mode is going to take around 5 to 10 minutes per level, but there's also random mode where it never plays out the same twice, and it will generally take a little bit longer. There are 30 different types of train here, including 18 different types of car, and apologies in advance, it's just really compulsive. Check it out or add it to your wish list, I'll pop a link in the top in comment. Once again, thanks to Blitworks for sponsoring this episode. From one ridiculously addictive game to another one, you've got Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. Weirdly, this is probably one of my most played multiplayer games on Switch. Playing split screen against the misses becomes far too competitive. There are lots of different game modes and the aforementioned Puyo Puyo part, which I never fully understood, involves firing those um, uh, blob things called Puyos around, but you can ignore that and just play Tetris. Yes, I know it's really popular in Japan, but I'm rubbish at it. It is nice that you can actually have uh, two of you playing against each other, one of you using Tetris and one of you using Puyo Puyo, depending on what you prefer. It has online play as well if you want to play against other people, but yeah, you can just use half a half a pair of Joy-Cons and do it on one screen, or you can get four of you. It really is a brilliant party game. Now at the moment it's 65% off, taking it down to £12.24, and this one does have a physical that's usually on sale as well. Down to its lowest ever price then, we've got Dreamscaper. Now we've got a full review of this one on the channel, but it's currently half price until August the 3rd. As the title suggests, it takes place within the dreams of this girl and she fights bosses and works her way through stages in a traditional roguelite sense but then she comes back out to the real world and then gradually unlocks different parts of the town and unlocks different abilities by interacting with the people it was just really interesting it's been a while actually since i played it but it was one that got a high score it was one that i thoroughly enjoyed and yeah for this price i would say it's a worthy pickup now it has a download size of five gigs it's got a reasonable size of five gigs and you're looking at about 10 to 15 hours to do the main story and then there's loads of other things to find. It's 
We've got Sundered, Eldritch Edition, which was actually reviewed for us by Jace Glover, I think, way back in the day. And it's currently 75% off, taking it down to £3.87. Now, if I remember his review correctly, this is essentially a Metroidvania. But you can, again, have multiplayer. You can have four of you playing on at the same time, but you don't need to. There are some brutal boss fights. I remember some of the enemies. I had a little go on this one myself. And there's tons and tons of character upgrade here. I think what some people didn't like was that it mixes um, fully created and procedural generation. Procedural generation has a tendency to, uh, it's a bit like Marmite, isn't it? Some people are very turned off by it. But the game doesn't feel like it's procedurally generated. So yeah, you're looking at multiple different endings as well. And an experience that's around 15 hours that does have a fully coherent story. Um, yeah, I like this one, enjoyed it a lot. And for that price, £3.87, it's not bad at all. It's only fair that we have some games that are only available in America, and this one is Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. In the US regions, it's currently 25% off, but also the physical version is 33% off at Amazon or GameStop. As the title suggests, it took a long time for this game to finally arrive, and it lived up to the hype. It was a whole lot of fun, I really enjoyed it on Switch, I was very impressed with the performance, and it was very cool being able to play as that new character. It has a 10.2 gigabyte download, and there's also multiplayer here as well. You're looking at not the longest single player, around about 10 to 12 hours but in terms of content there is tons in each stage to find and do. That sale goes on until August the 8th. Now, after recording all of that about how most of these aren't available in the US region, literally as I've been sat here, they've gone on sale in the US regions. Happy days. So Jotun, the Valhalla edition, is 75% off in all regions, and Sundered, which I've just recorded about, will now also have prices, hopefully reflecting that it's on sale everywhere as well. Really, I should re-record that, but if you can picture my little troll face right now, <laughs> the angry people are just arriving here and going, wait, oh, so there you go. Everyone else is just a bit more chilled out. Now, Jotun, I really enjoyed. This was a top-down adventure that had some really nice combat where it where it really shone. And as you kind of know with Thunder Lotus, they have a habit of creating these own incredible boss fights. This had five huge Jotuns that you fight against. They're essentially Norse elementals, and you have to use your powers bestowed upon you from the Viking gods. 75% off though, down to a measly £2.74. Yes, please. There really isn't much more we can tell you about Immortals Phoenix Rising. It's been patched up a lot since it launched. It's very much like Breath of the Wild. It goes on sale a lot, but today we're looking at the physical. Now in the UK at the moment, 62% off over at shop2.net, taking it down to 18 quid. It's well worth that. In the US, you're looking at 75% off on the eShop, down to $14.99, which is an absolute barjan. There's a ton of content here. I know Ubisoft don't seem to be in the best place right now. In fact, they seem to be in a bit of a pickle but they still have some good ips and some good games and for me this is one of them that sale goes on until august the 4th and i very much enjoyed the combat with that slow-mo mechanic Now the reason I love this series is because it forces me to go out and dig out hidden gems. And I think I found one, it's called Some Distant Memory. This is 65% off at the moment, it's £3.49 or your regional equivalent. And it's a relatively short adventure, about four hours long. But just hear out the premise, because it's awesome. Essentially you've got these uh, humanoids, let's say, who are exploring a post-apocalyptic earth. And one of them falls and stumbles and ends up in the house of a family long since departed, and you have a device which enables you to almost glimpse the past and you piece back the uh, the past and gradually build up this picture of who lived there. It has almost a voyeuristic quality, but along with its pacing and the ambiance provided by the music, it's a lovely little succinct package and for me perfectly encapsulates what hidden gem should be. For a few pounds, you could do a lot than some distant memory.
If you don't already own Children of Mortar, the complete edition, then uh, you should. It has a little baby wolf in it at one point that you save. That's worth the price of admission alone. Now it's 60% off at the moment, down to £9.60 or, or your regional equivalent. And this includes the Family Trials, uh, brand new content they added, new difficulty modes, they added in a new game plus mode, they added a new character, they included the Ancient Spirits DLC, which has again another new playable character, and they added the Paws and Claws DLC, which at one point, I know they were um, giving all the proceeds of, um, of to animal shelters, so I just think that's awesome. Now what actually is it? It's a old school Diablo-like uh, hack and slash roguelite. You can play with two people. There are seven playable characters. It's focused around the Bergsons and it's absolutely brilliant. Check out our full review. This one's just gone on sale at Streets of Rage 4, down to its lowest ever price. It's half price, £11.25. It's multiple, it's been mentioned multiple times by us on the channel. Glenn absolutely loves it. I think it was one of the highest scores he ever gave. And it has that 90s feel now. Dot Emu really have done wonders with the visuals on this game. It looks beautiful. Personally, I think we both wanted to see this style with the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. They did a great job there. Like that looks brilliant with the pixel art. But I just, this style is just incredible. Incredible. Now there's not a great deal I need to tell you, it's a beat em up, it's got some fantastic music and it's full of chicken. Chicken! <laughs> so yeah, enjoy, it's only 4 gigs as well. In our ever-present battle to protect the world from absolute trash, my BS detectors went off when I was browsing the eShop and I saw the game 20 Ladies. <laughs> which is an action platformer from 2021 featuring, you guessed it, 20 ladies. You have to locate 20 ladies hidden around the environment. Why, you might ask? Well, that's a very good question. It's one that none of us have yet answered. It says, enjoy the relaxing atmosphere and chill soundtrack while you try and find 20 ladies. <laughs> I think this is for a very specific audience. <laughs> and not one who probably hangs about with ladies. If I were you, I would avoid it, like the plague. Hot, hot garbage. Once again, a thanks to Blitworks. Check out their game in the top in comment. A thanks to all of you that enjoy the content. I am waving to you from the plane, potentially. Do save yourself 10% on any of these games using code SWITCHUP over at switchup.gg. And as always, for all things Switch, all the time, keep it SWITCHUP. Cheers, guys. See ya!